Hola, como vai, amigos? My name is Rotoro, and I am trying to become a Brazilian hero. A goal which hinges on today's match, our featured match, the second leg, against Caldense, our affiliate, whom we drew 1-1 in the away leg. Let's go there right now. Goals from Renatinho in the 16th minute and Nilsson in the 71st. That ended up being goal of the week. You'll see why when we look at the goals. Fairly, uh, fairly telling results here. Lucas Ramon looking great on the right. Silvio, his usual rock in the center of the pitch. Chardiel picked a horrible time to have a horrible game. Uh, Victor Ufo went off injured at the half, which is unfortunate. Patrick, an underwhelming game, but as I said, Nielsen saved the day for us. Outshot 16 to 9 in the away leg, only three on target. And also seeded possession quite handily. So Caldense came to play. They came to play big time. And they did not disappoint their home fans. Minus the part where Nielsen ruined it. So let's look at the goals. Jesse with the long ball to start it. Ramon's header to Victor Ufo. Doesn't get him far as Misael takes it back. Nelson. Renatinho. It's a good move in here from Galicia. Marco Tulio waits. Goes out wide to Andrezinho, who's player of the match. There's the cross. Renatinho gets it in. Couple problems I have with that goal. Number one. We'll just zoom in a little bit here. Number one. Note the positioning. Luizão and Renatinho. Note how Renatinho is going to run right past Luizão, who's clearly ball watching. Secondly, look where Josiel is off his line, clearly indecisive about something. Should be on his line for this, is not. Luzau is caught ball watching horribly, and Josiel is late to get to this ball. For whatever reason, it was right in front of him. And in it goes, posted in. Not good. That's a, a both 12% on cross completion on the day. That one resulted in a goal. So did this one. Corner from Natinho. Cleared initially. Only as far as Lucas Ramon. Back into Natinho. First time volley. First time header. Look at the placement on this. So the first time ball part of this is great. Look how that sets up. Lucas Ramon steps into his position. He knows he's got Patrick offside. Nielsen offside. But Natinho has tagged up. Nobody thinks to cover him. He's still out there from the corner. And suddenly, he has options. The first time ball... Patrick's done well to get back on side, as has Nielsen, who's in the middle of five defenders. Six, seven, if you include the ones sort of hanging out nearby. Rafael Gava's out of it. Patrick's too deep. Nielsen's in the sweet spot, and for whatever reason, the defenders get caught ball watching by themselves, and Nielsen has a clear header, and the placement is just sublime. Cross the face of goal, barn in. That was goal of the week. That gets us our vital away goal as we head into the second leg. Looking at the stats from the match, should we analyze, anal, analyze? <laughs> analyze what happened? Andrezinho, a player of the match for obvious reasons, eight key passes. He cannot, cannot allow him to do that same thing in the second leg. We will have to shut him down and stop him dictating play from the right side of the pitch. Hmm, where have I heard that strategy from before? Luis wore the goat horns on that poor marking, and yeah, pretty badly. Silvio on his game, absolutely 100%. Also 100%, Diogo Roque. 100% tackles one. I like it. So of that, we know we need to improve on a few things, most notably shutting down this high-running, high-passing Caldense midfield and defense. So Misael and Arezinho will be our targets. Look at the team's shots here. And Caldense shot a heck of a lot. Too many being taken from inside the area at that close of range. That's Silvio's area of the pitch. Also Jardiel's, and he did have an off match, must be said. But that's still a big problem. Very big problem. Don't like it. I don't like it at all. Uh, yeah, when your forwards are about to get that loose, that's a big problem. On the flip side, we didn't take that many. But the ones that we took were all in the danger zone. Accuracy leaving a lot to be desired. Two saved, four missed, only one on target and in. 
Actually, I should say three on target, because uh, two of them were sage. But we have more work to do. Mention that crossing percentage. Uh, not a shocker at all. Lucas Ramon doing the majority of the work, though so many intercepted. On the left, Jardiel not nearly as busy. On a Caldense side, yeah. Andrezinho running the show from the right, though, should be said, on the left-hand side of the pitch, no slouch either. Was, uh, is that Guillerme? Yes, it was Guillerme, who was pinching up quite a bit left-back position. We'll have to watch for that next game as well. I think we've learned all we can learn from this. There's nothing for it but to go in. One final update on our scouting. We are trying to find cheap targets that we can get on freeze for next season. The vast majority of them are defenders and holding midfielders and one striker. We'll see how it goes. I have some options. I have some hopes. We'll see if any of them actually, you know, play out. We'll see. Let's get into it. Sarah UC is still out. Ayrton's still out. Enrique Roberto ineligible. And Elder is doubtful. He's not playing. We know that. Winner of this match is automatically promoted. We'll still move on to try and get some glory by winning the league. Hopefully it's us. Angelo draws into Victor Ufo's starting spot. Nothing else changes. However, drawing to Angelo's spot on the bench. Who is it, Tomas? That's right, our 16-year-old super stud. The pride of the Londrina Academy. The next great Brazilian hope. He's in the 23. Now, the reason I'm bringing in is he is nowhere near fully trained up to be an attacking central midfielder. That is off the table. What is still on the table, though, because we have Rafael Gava and we have Natinho, is to flare out and play 4-2-3-1 wide, which we have not done at all ever. And if that might trip them up a little bit, so much the better. I'll switch to a fluid shape for this, was suggested by my support staff. We'll see. Confidence will be low on confidence. Should be enough. Do what I'll get to take advantage of playing at home. Four to five favorites. Patrick's still in the running for the golden boot. But he needs to score goals. 4 2 2 2. This is the 4 2 3 1. Guillermo and Rosinho, of course they're starting. Misael in the center of the pitch. Sensible going hard, but fair on Renatinho, you think? I'm more concerned about how Andrezinho. Guillerme and Mizal were allowed to dictate the pace of play. Let's just make sure that doesn't happen again. Shall we? All right, boys. Uh, no. Hmm. How do I want to approach this? Calm. Result will come. Good. That did it. I have faith. You're not getting overly hyped. Oh, there we go. There's the hype. All right. For all the marbles. For promotion to League Two. The Brazilian Hero Campaign. It all goes now. A Caldense in their green kits. Londrina in their teal and white. Yeah, the the team could be a little more filled. I mean, there's promotion on the line here. If that doesn't bring the crowds out, my goodness, what will? Martinho, Minero, Zal, Guillerme. Crosses it, Marco Tulio is met by Silvio. The ball is cleared. First time volley back in. Silvio clears again. He's going to have to be on his game tonight, will Silvio. Martinho. Oh, it looks like a Columbus throw in there, but he manages to keep it in play. They only have it nicked off his boots. Not even two minutes in. Already there's some tension happening in this game. Marco Tulio. He's the final Renatinho. And goes to Misael instead. He's closed down immediately. Long ball for Guillerme. First time cross coming in. Renatinho near post. Blocked by Jardiel who pinched way over from the left. And Rezinho. Easily dealt with by Depau. The youngster drawing in instead of Luzao who wore the goat horns for the last match. If the youngster can show that his development this season was not just an aberration, that he is indeed worthy. Starting next to Silvio, and indeed making me think long and hard about whoever I bring in in the offseason. Natinho with the free kick here. It's a long one for Angelo, no joy. Gets it back. 
Second effort. Kiyogoroke. Matinho. Jardiel! How was that offside? He was in the middle of a pack of defenders. How on earth was that offside? Looks like the game might want to win this one. Not a good sign. Ray. Diogoroke. Angelo. From distance, forces a save out of Negete. Angelo had Lucas Ramon wide open on the right, tried his luck. It's the corner. Silvio near post. Tries to control it. Ultimately knocks it off the defender and out. The scoreless draw favors us. Which is good. Idmar. Looks for Nettino, can't find them. Jardiel gets it right back. Good switch to Lucas Ramon. Angelo. Angelo's got his shooting boots on here. He's actually playing as a shadow striker in this game instead of the attacking midfielder. Though it would appear it's not quite working. The Mazal already in the referee's books. With a warning at the very least, not a card. So perhaps our strategy is working and throwing him off his game. Average rates of teams are dead even though. 0.01 separating them. Lucas Ramon crosses. Patrick save! And again, that was a sensational save. Well, let's look at that chance again, shall we? Let's look at that one more time. My goodness. Edmar. Lucas Ramon. Patrick. That is a fine save, and get there. Fantastic stuff. Angelo, Patrick, Matinho. Matinho tries his luck and nearly fooled again, and he's good again. What a double save. Patrick tries the other corner. Caldense's goalkeeper is putting on a clinic, trying to keep his team alive. He's been dead to rights at least once. According to the stat line, five shots on target, though. None have beaten him. I argue that Patrick should have buried at least one of those chances. I'll bet one of his was the clear cut. But it remains nil all for Tubarao. Netinho saved by Josiel. Josiel has to stay awake. Only Caldense's second shot of the match as we approach halftime, but it's pushed clear. Dendro Camilo with the foul there. Thank goodness. Harden in my mouth with the whistles was called in the box. Netinho. Edmar. Keeps going. Edmar in the conversation for player of the year for the third division. Came in third in last year's voting. I would say, with my biased opinion, he's got a shot. We enter halftime. It is all square. Keep it up, everybody. Good. I have faith. Good. We're having a good team talk. We had one of those uh, large-scale team talks before the first leg, and it served to demotivate everybody. So, uh, glad we're turning this around. Jardiel, 6-6. Two matches in a row. He has not played his potential at all. Rafael Gava, very well could come in there. As could Paulinho, just for a more sturdy veteran presence as a fullback. We'll see. We're playing Jardiel as a limited fullback right now for the defensive end of things. What if we tell him to just go attacking wingback mode? Just push all the way up. Lucas Ramon is attacking fullback. Yeah, we'll go with that. See if that changes anything. Second half is underway. One all after the first leg. Londrina with that vital away goal. Andrezinho. A bit quieter on the day. Almost like we learned our lessons. Short to Leandro Camilo. Minero goes long. That'll be snuffed out by Silvio. Back to Josia. Gets his time. Picks his target. It's a Vinitinho. Cleared. Jardiel follows up. This is what we want to see out of Jardiel. Netinho, Ray, Jardiel, Edmar. Jardiel's practically an attacking midfielder here. Netinho, Jardiel, taken out by Andrezinho. 
Oh, well, Georgiana wanted you to contribute. I didn't mean you had to lead the line necessarily. And Dinos Renatino is behind DePau. Marco Tulio! That was a good save by Josiel. As the eagerness of uh, a Jardiel, oh, perhaps a bit too eager. Perhaps a bit too eager there. It's new to Patrick. Something good come here if he gets some support. He does have Angelo. Angelo over the bar. We're going to take him off Shadow Striker, I think. It's not quite doing what I wanted it to do. And Diogo Roque will likely go in the book here, and there it is. 51st minute card. Yeah, I know. All right, Angelo, we are telling you to go... Yeah, he's better as a glancing playmaker, but I don't need too many of those. And Edmar is already there, so we're just going to get you attacking midfield mode. Pull you back, let Patrick do the work. The sixth minute, Jardiel has brought his game up in leaps and bounds. Angelo has not, and Patrick has been stymied. So here's what we're going to do. I may end up regretting this. Tomas, show him what you're made of. Making his debut in arguably one of the most important matches of this young team's existence. Tomas, coming in for Angelo. In we go. Guillermo making way for Wesley Bigu as Tomas comes on in the 68th minute. Oh my goodness, Renatinho! A diving header from Wesley Bigu! Well, that was not the sub I was expecting would have an impact. The left back. My goodness. All right, you're worth my attention now. Well, that had absolutely nothing to do with our formational shift, but now we need to uh, really pull out all the stops because that was horrifying. Okay, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. All right. Uh, as much as I like Diogo Roque, as much as he's my captain... Uh, you're on a card, and I gotta pull you. All right, Nielsen, you saved the day last time. Can you do it again? Jardiel now wears the captain's armband. As we will be throwing everything in the kitchen sink at them. Pump it into the box. Actually... Don't exploit the middle. We can play wider now. Take more risks. Go direct. Pump it into the box. Uh, closing down less with balance. With is balanced? Eh, I don't know about that. We gotta go route one, though. Nothing for it. Go. Doesn't matter if they score again. They're already winning. Leandro Camilo. And Resigno. Roberto. Leandro Camilo. Olao. DePau blo Oh, DePau. He botches the header, but Nunes botches the shot. Thank goodness. Oh, DePau. I thought that was it right there. Uh, this Nunes fellow. All right, good. I have one sub left, one roll of the dice. And it's going to be to take off Patrick. He is just not doing what we need him to do. All right, Valamir. You've shown flashes of brilliance, Valamir. Time to become a hero. Netinho with the throw. Shadiel. Valamir, save by Negete. Oh, that was very nearly, wasn't it? I said to Valamir, be a hero. He nearly did it. Josiel looks long. Netinho. It's through! Nielsen! He's done it again! 
In the 86th minute, Nilsson has found the equalizer. <laughs> Exhale, Brasero. <laughs> Oh, you can see the war of the goat horns there. Poor block by Paulau. And on a horrible time for a defensive error. Londrina have their goal. Flick on by Nielsen looking for Valmir. No joy. Andresinho. Junior Lemos. Goes over the top for Retinho. Trying to get a cross in. Wait a minute. Oh, I haven't changed my... <gasps> Back up. Back up. Back up, everybody. Hang on just a minute. Just a minute here. Let's just, you know, let's just be careful here. All right. Okay. Nobody do anything stupid. Andresinho. Taking his time over this one. Goes back to Wesley Beagle. It's a set piece of some trickery. Oh, are they just throwing this one away? Are they just gonna play keep away and go for extra time and penalties? It looks like they very well may be. And indeed, there is no extra time. It is just penalties. You might be saying, wouldn't Patrick have been great for this? And I would say, well, listen. He just was not having a good day. And I hoped Valdemir could win it outright for us. So it's going to be Netinho to start. It's going to be yeah, Tomas and Josiel will be the last two takers. We know that much. Uh, Valmir. Nilsson. Edmar. Who's our fifth? Ray? Ray might actually be a bad show, but Edmar last. Ray can go there. Uh, let me just drag and drop everybody in at this point, right? Silvio will come in after Edmar, then the Lucas Ramon, then Jardiel, and Depau right before. Actually, Depau will come after Tomas. Good grief. All right. Down to the wire. 1-1 one, one away, 1-1 one, one at home. Nielsen saving the day with a clutch late header. It's down to penalty kicks. With promotion on the line. Here we go. Now, can we get rail cam for this? I think we really should. Pro zone, you're great. But I want to see those shots go in. Nunes. Open up against Josiel. See, oh, I got ahead of myself. Josiel guessed right, got a hand to it, but could not keep it out. Netinho. Yes, sir, with authority. Palau. Right down the middle! Josiel didn't even have to move. That could be clutch. Valmir. The youngster. Oh, does the exact same thing. Leandro Camilo. Josiel guessed right. Not right enough. Nielsen. Yes, sir. Renatinho. Saved by Josiel. Two poorly taken penalties right down right down Main Street. Ray with a chance to take the advantage. There it is. Overcommitted there. Renegate. Misael must score. Josiel saves it! Josiel saves it! We are going up! Woohoo! Oh my goodness, breathe, Rotoro. <laughs> oh, we did it. We did it. 
We did it. I don't care. I don't care that it was a let off. We did it in penalties. We did it. We did it. We did it. We are promoted. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Josiel coming up huge with two saves. Whew. The Nova are also through. Tombense are through and Fortaleza are through. Those are your four promoted teams. Villanova, Tombense, Fortaleza and Londrina. Going up to the second division. Tomas makes his professional debut in a winning cause, thank goodness. Villanova. We will be what here? The way first. All right. Initial budgets: seventy-three thousand a week, one hundred twenty-six thousand transfers. Oh my goodness! Rejoice! Absolutely ecstatic after we beat all odds to gain promotion. I performed wonders. I would be coveted. Unbelievable promotion! I'd like the statue to be made out of bronze and gold, please. Thank you. The Vika is ecstatic. Thank you. Juninho heaped praise on me. Ray did his best. 8.4. You better believe it. I tell you, you can win with kids. You can win with kids. And if you clutch, uh, <laughs> if you clutch veterans. Ooh, and now we have to prepare for the second division. We've got some payroll space now. This is good. We're still bleeding money. We still have a slight profit from selling about a third of our team. Can we turn it around and be profitable as we move up the ladder? That'll be next time on Brazilian Hero as we review the third division and prepare for the second my name is Rotero. Thank you for watching, everyone. If you like what you've seen, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, favorite, tell all your friends about these videos on YouTube, and don't forget to join us in Twitch chat, twitch.tv slash Rotero, where all these episodes are recorded live, where Twitch chat was initially predicting it would be a lost 10-11, Josiel missing the final kick. Well, unfortunately, you were wrong. Josiel turned out to be the hero, and I am trying to become a Brazilian hero. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you in the second division.